What's up guys, we're back with another educational video and this week we are talking about the anabolic window. Is it legit or not? But first, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment for the algorithm. So this week I'm discussing a study that looked at the validity of the anabolic window. Shout out to one of the authors of the study, Bill Campbell, my partner in Physique Coaching Academy. As per usual, Bill does excellent research and this was attempting to address the longstanding dogma in bodybuilding that suggested you need to consume definitely right after your workout some sort of protein shake to hit the anabolic window where you're most sensitized to the anabolic effects of amino acids. That's kind of like the way it's been pitched. I, I can remember this back in late 90s, early 2000s when I was getting into bodybuilding. This was very much the dogma that was out there. It seems to make sense. There's some evidence that you're more insulin sensitive after a workout, that maybe amino acid uptake is better after a workout, and that you have higher rates of muscle protein synthesis after a resistance training workout. And so taking supplemental protein might help amplify amplify these effects. And so the idea was definitely have a shake right after your workout and you should probably have one right before your workout as well so that you have amino acids circulating in your bloodstream while you're working out. This has been criticized in the last, you know, 10, 15 years. A lot of people who've originally looked at it are like Alan Argon, Brad Schoenfeld. And the idea is protein synthesis really isn't that sensitive. It's pretty blunt in terms of if you eat enough protein to stimulate muscle protein synthesis, it usually runs for several hours. The amino acids in your bloodstream are elevated for, you know, four, five, six hours. And so if you ate a meal before your workout, the likelihood is you still have those amino acids in your bloodstream post-workout. So this study wanted to look at eight weeks of examining the anabolic window in resistance trained men. What they did was they either had them take in a 25 gram whey protein shake right before training and then right after training, or they had them do it three hours before training and then three hours after training. Now, the other part that's important for this is they also matched their diets. Everybody was consuming a high protein diet of two grams per kilogram of protein, which is about one gram per pound for those people out there who apparently can't divide by 2.2. If you wanna convert, it's just under one gram per pound. A high protein diet and they controlled caloric intake, and, and I believe that these people were basically at maintenance. After eight weeks, they looked at body composition, strength, muscular performance, and some blood markers of like muscle damage and those sorts of things. And what they showed was that there was absolutely no differences between the groups. All the groups increased their muscle mass, they got stronger, but there wasn't any further improvement from timing of protein intake. Now, if I wanted to like really nitpick and critique the study, what I would say is, well, eight weeks, if timing is having a small effect, you're probably not gonna pick it out in eight weeks, but this is adding to a lot of other data suggesting that it just doesn't matter that much. It makes sense to have protein pre and post workout only from the perspective that you should probably eat a meal within a few hours of your workout so that you're fueled and that you do have some protein, some amino acids in your bloodstream. And then at some point after your workout, you should probably have another meal. I mean, I do recommend, you know, distributing your protein intake over like three to five meals per day. It doesn't seem to make a big difference, but there is some small amount of research data that suggests distribution may help a little bit. And so if you're doing three to five meals a day, you can bracket your workout with two of those meals. That will work just fine. If your workout is an hour long and you ate two hours for your workout, do you need to eat immediately after your workout? No, those amino acids are still present in your bloodstream and you don't need to eat another meal immediately. What I tell people is within a few hours of working out, probably two hours, eat a pre-workout meal depending on how your GI sensitivity is. For me personally, I like to eat pretty close to training. I don't feel fatigued. It's probably just placebo, but I, I like feeling like I'm well fueled. And then I usually eat within like an hour or two of finishing training. But when I was a kid, man, it was like, literally finished the last rep of my last set and I'm mixing up my protein shake right there in the gym and slamming it down. And that, that just doesn't appear to have any further benefits. So protein supplements can be useful but it doesn't appear it's based on timing. And I think a lot of this dogma was driven by supplement companies who wanted to sell more whey protein by giving you a reason that you need to have it at a certain time of day. You don't need protein supplements. You can absolutely get enough protein from your diet. Now, I say this as someone who I sell a protein supplement through my supplement company, Outwork Nutrition. Uh, it is a high quality whey protein isolate, but it's not magic. 
It is a really good tasting, very bioavailable, easy to digest, economical source of protein. And if it makes sense for you to use it as a supplement to help supplement your protein intake so that you get enough total protein intake throughout the day, it can absolutely be useful. It's been shown to improve body composition, but it's not magic. And I'm never gonna try and sell it as magic. But if you're interested in our protein supplement, you can click the link in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will catch you next week.